So remember in the winter time, I came to Palkine Park and it was completely frozen over. Well, today there is water flowing and it's absolutely beautiful. It's in the 30s now for the next few days to come and it's gorgeous. Unfortunately, this beautiful water is just ornamental and you can't touch it. You're not supposed to play in it, you're not supposed to wait in it. Um, which is sad because the water looks absolutely clear, it looks absolutely clean, and if it's just purely ornamental, I'd say that this is a huge waste of water to be doing something like this. But I'm gonna be a rebel and I'm gonna dip my toe in this water. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna dip my toe in the water. Ready? There you go. It's actually pretty cool. It's not like super cold or anything, it's just like regular temperature, regular room temperature, but ah, so frustrated that there's such a awesome source of water for people to wait in. I'm sure at some point in the past this was an area people could wait in and probably some health authority somewhere because there is one little thing that is not marked on a checklist has uh, prevented this place from being enjoyed as a waiting area because of new health regulations and that is very sad because people have done this in the past and no one died at least I don't know of any okay so that is my little illegal toe dipping in the water I'm getting out of here now before the cops come and arrest me. They have one of the little libraries here. Uh, it is done by the Oliver Community League, but for some reason or another, there's one in Millwoods. And right now there is a, oh, there's actually several books in here right now. Your Guide to Buying and Selling Your Home, an AMA travel book, Hidden Talents, Engaging Troubling Students. They have some of these community walking maps. And I haven't seen these for several years now. So I'm gonna grab this one for Oliver and perhaps discover some more new things around the city like the Yegg Parks page that's uh, currently available right now.